Right then, guys, we have had an amazing new arrival here at the farm. Um, unfortunately, we are very strictly embargoed, um, and it means that we you will be seeing this video after you've already seen this animal air on television. But we thought that we didn't want you to miss out on its earliest days here at the farm. So we're going to go say hello to this amazing brand new animal, brand new to us, uh, you might have already seen it at this stage, um, in our rare breeds barn just next door. So let's go have a look and see how it's getting on. Right, so just hiding away behind mum, this is one of our female alpacas called Whitney. We have got an amazing little Kriya. Now, it's a bit fluffy, isn't it? But it is a few days old at this stage. We've given it a couple of days to calm down and settle down. Uh, <laughs> she's up, look. Uh, and this is a little female Kriya, so a little girl, which is always good because it means there's a, there's a chance that we might get to keep her. Now, she was born on Sunday afternoon, so just uh, uh, probably six days ago now. Uh, a member of the public actually spotted uh, Whitney, our female alpaca, giving birth, and farmers Daryl and Eddie ran down here to, uh, to help out and get it penned up and make sure she was all all right. And it ended up being a, a natural birth. Now then, this little creature, who at this point has probably already um, been on the TV, <laughs> already famous and only a few days old, um, is an amazing colour. This is a really, really unusual colour for here, us at Cannon Hall Farm. Um, I can't actually remember having one this colour before. It's sort of a creamy, a creamy sort of brownie colour, actually. I don't know what colour you'd call that. But uh, it's not something we have, and she is absolutely beautiful. She's, um, she's wonderful. She's doing really, really well as well, which is, uh, which is always good. Um, Basically, she's drinking the milk she needs to be drinking, and she was born at a decent weight. Um, alpacas can sometimes be born a little bit small, and that can cause um, no end of problems, which we've experienced here before at Cannon Hall Farm. But this one is super healthy, and that's a lovely change. Um, so, more often than not, we get this red colour, a lighter brown colour, like that one over there, or sometimes we get pure white. But we've never had something in between. So it's been absolutely lovely to have a, a little bundle of joy. You will see that she is still separate from the other alpacas at the minute and probably will be for a, a little bit while longer. Um, with the alpacas, we like to give them a chance to bond with each other, make sure the little one, having a bounce around, aren't you, sweetheart? The little one bonds with mum uh, without the others interfering. Uh, the others will get involved um, once the alpaca, once she goes back in there, they will take a, a lot of attention towards this little alpaca um, and we want to give it a chance not to be too overwhelmed. So within the next few weeks, it'll be going back. So all in all, an amazing outcome for this little alpaca and Whitney, our mum. Um, basically, um, we could not be more pleased with how it's gone. We're so glad that we've had the opportunity to share it on the TV with you guys. Uh, we know we've got we've got to keep those embargoes so that you guys can enjoy the TV shows to the best of uh, the best that you can. Um, but thanks very much for watching. We're going to keep um, carrying on with this diary, this video diary of this little alpaca growing up. Uh, no doubt, eventually she'll get a name. So thanks very much for watching. I um, hope you've enjoyed it. Give us a like and a share if you can, and we'll see you later. Thanks very much, guys. Bye. I'll see you there.